the first stage of the fragile years is your parent has an event. Now maybe they, maybe they have a fender bender, maybe they run a stop sign, maybe they eat some expired food in the fridge, maybe they start needing a walker but they're not using it. There, there's an event and that's the beginning. And then the other stage that I, I love, and it's recognizable, is the reminiscing stage. They're, they're sharing, they're communicating, they're telling stories of their high school, they're talking about the guys they were in the war with, they're sharing the story of your birth, and it's a stage, and they're reviewing their life. They're going through and processing everything that happened in their life, and then they start needing help. And I've said this, and the, the number one reason people get institutionalized is pride. Not accepting help when you need it will cause you to be institutionalized because you've stretched yourself beyond which is physically reasonable. You know, you, you, the guy that goes up the ladder to fix his roof and he's 90 and he falls off the ladder. That, that's an extreme example, but I watched my dad accept help from me when he grabbed my arm. And that told me, and it taught me as a daughter, oh, this is how it goes. He put his pride down and he let me help him walk. So everybody goes through that stage where they need help and then, and then finding that soft place to land, whether it's at home with full-time help, whether it's in a community. And then, and then the last stage, I call it end of life. People think end of life, oh, it's hospice and you're, you're actively dying. End of life is really like a year of, you know, I'm on my way out, but it's gradual. It's soft and it's gentle. And the meals become shorter. Sleep becomes longer and they get a look in their eyes where they're there, but they're not there. But your presence is felt. And having that emotional presence where you're there and you're comforting them just by your presence helps them leave the world in a really gentle, spiritual way. It's quite lovely.